Hey guys, welcome to another, you guessed it, Subaru video. We're gonna save an Outback. Excuse the noise, there's fans and flies going around and stuff like that. So, let me introduce you to an 05 Subaru Outback. It's actually in good condition, it's an 05 with 212,000 miles. Look, no rust. Check it out. Here's the noisemaker. So it's pretty clean. And it's a stick shift. Heated seats. It's decent inside. It's got the roof rack. It's got a hood. All right, guys, as you can see, I got some help. We got Albert. We got Jeff and we got Rob. And the problem with this, it's running on three cylinders. Number one is dead. I believe it was at 60 PSI when I did the uh, compression test. So we're just gonna go right to it. We're gonna take it out, do a leak down test with a leak down tester to find out if it's the valves or the... <coughs> <coughs> or the piston rings. This is gonna be a packed video, just one video as short as possible. I'm not gonna go, this is, this is not a how-to, okay? So just next time, next stop is gonna be a major update or the engine's gonna be out, okay? So see you soon. Okay guys, I know it's noisy, but quickly now. Now I knew that there's uh, low compression on cylinder number one, okay? but needed to make sure if it's uh, the compression, it's lacking compression because of the intake valve, exhaust valve, or maybe even the piston ring, okay? So quick test is doing a leak down test, and this is what you wanna do. Yeah. All right, so you, you'll hear air escaping. Yeah. Now we're gonna play with these settings, it doesn't matter because it's so low. This should be at 100, but it's so obvious, I'm not gonna bother. Air going into the cylinder via the spark plug, and you hear that? coming off of the exhaust port on number one which means the exhaust valve had it that's it we're gonna tear this down assess the situation send out see you later all right guys we're calling it a night it is late people gotta eat and sleep but this is the state of it now now i forgot to mention if you're doing a leak down test you gotta be top dead center which means in, in any way possible all valves closed in any way possible. So you can take off the timing belt, valves will clo close, but the best way is to remove the rocker assembly, and then for sure that's gonna be closed. If you're not sure that you're taking it all apart, then you might as well do the, the belt thing and just find top dead center and uh, turn it halfway, 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 halfway for the next cylinders. The firing order is one three two four one three two four so we'll go check if you go halfway on the crank uh, sprocket after tdc then you will check number sooner number three and then two and then four i think so it's looking not too bad seems like oil change has been mostly on time a little sludge here and there so next stop Tomorrow we need a special tool to remove this reverse torque socket thing to remove the heads. Then we're going to assess the pistons, the cylinder walls, uh, look at the heads underneath. And we're going to have to remove the rocker assembly, remove the valves, you know, the springs, all that stuff. And uh, send out the heads for, well... There's gonna be an update, okay, once all of it is apart. Next time. Guys, we got updates. Serious update. So, as you can see, the valves are out. This one came from here. Where's the bad one? Oh, here. Actually, that's the other way around. So, this one was here. Exhaust, outside valve. And this is exhaust inside valve. You can see it's yo I'm 
What the? Okay. And a plane. Man. Planes every five minutes. It's ridiculous. Okay, to the point. Look at this valve. Let me try and... Remember, this is my phone. Actually, it should be a better zoom. Did you hear? Oh, no. Maybe more. Okay, here you go. Look at this. Look, you see this? You see this? You see this? The very top of the valve. It's not round. Piston seems fine. The cylinder walls, walls are just perfect. Cross hatching. Still, more than 200,000 miles, and every single cylinder looks like this. <laughs> Crazy. And look at the cams. Perfect. There's a line here, but it's nothing. I can't even catch it with my finger. These look perfect. Same thing with the, with the good head. Okay, so like I said before, or maybe I didn't, I'm gonna st still dismantle this upper deck of, the, of each cylinder head. I'm gonna take that off, remove the valves from the other head, not clean the heads, send them out to a machine shop for, for decking. I'm not, I'm not even gonna check for, for straightness. Another plane. But I'm going to check for straightness, uh, the block for straightness. Basically just take a straight edge and just, you know, use a straight edge and filler gauge. You know, one of these guys. I think like 15,000. No, I mean, 1,000 and a half. 0 0.0015 is allowable. Maybe 0 0.001. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Uh, you know, rarely the block needs to be machined unless it has been overheated. Yeah, so next stop is going to be... Well, I don't know. See you later. Hey guys, big update. Kind of. We're doing the straight edge test, or straight, straight. It's a straight test. We're doing a straight test. We got a thousand and a half filler gauge and basically checking for gaps. Wanna, you know, yeah, wanna uh, crack the block? <laughs> it's good. Straight as a Subaru's block. Check it out. Just a slide. Mm. Yeah, this way. So a thousand and a half, yeah, go, go this way. <clears throat> this way. <clears throat> huh? You're, here, you're on here, the yeah, yeah. We have this. Okay, here. Yeah. Yeah, good. Perfecto. We already checked the other side. It's also good. And we're gonna pop out, pop out uh, the pistons through here. Obviously, we gotta, you know, undo the this idler here, this uh, tensioner. Pop off the plugs, take the wrist pin clips out, remove the pins, and then we're going to be able to remove the each uh, piston. But before we do that, we got to clean this edge here with uh, steel wool zero, no non you know abrasive stuff, just a little bit. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, maybe uh, you're going to see it here. We've got some gunk over here, so it's you know. The piston has an easier, easier job coming up. And uh, the head's already at the machine shop. I think I went through this. It's, it, it was, you know, it's, it's been a couple days. But here are all the parts. This got cleaned. Uh, we're waiting on parts, brand new exhaust, valves, <clears throat> you know, the whole gasket set. And we're not chipping out. Melling. Melling uh, valves, uh, Mali uh, gasket set, and uh, yeah, you know, good stuff. Actually, let's see the engine bay. Check it out, check it out. This has been power washed. Mm. Mm. This is clean. Yeah. 
We're gonna get a good uh, brand new windshield. This is this one's cracked. You probably see this. All right, guys. Till next update. Hey guys, quick, very quick update. We're driving the pins out to remove the pistons. We got three, two out actually. And you know, because of the buildup, crystallized oil on the inside of the, whatever you call the, the inside of the piston, just beyond, you know, the skirt of the piston, there's a lot of goo and it's hard to just, usually when it's clean, you just, you know, remove that little clip Where's the clip? Let's show the people the clip. Okay, this is the clip that you know I'm talking about. So we remove the clip after yeah, removing here. all this. Uh, usually, if it's if that's clean, you just you know put your pinky in there and kind of grab it and remove it. Not so easy this time. So what we're doing, you're, you you want to line this up, and you can actually see through it from the other side. Even if all the pins are in. See, we got. Albert there knocking it in <laughs> and I'm just gonna catch it look at it go oh, you, you might have to turn the crank a little bit it's not lined up, not lined up? no uh, turn it I have no idea <laughs> just turn it one way and then we'll see oh, where it goes no, I can't because um, of the ones loose it's what the bolt is loose go the other way Okay, oh, too much, too much. Go back. A little more. Is it stuck? Stuck. It's it's probably. It's been, it's been in okay. Well, we're not gonna clear it, most likely. Let's see if we can. No, not gonna move it. Okay, so we got it moving. Basically, Albert got scared going the other way around. Keep going, keep going. Oh, is it blocked again? Blocked oh, again? Yeah. No, it's, we're good. Keep it going. It's coming back slowly, 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 slowly. Little more, little more, little more. Okay, we're good. All right. We already have this one removed. And uh, yeah, so this is the last one. Go ahead. You gotta just watch it for that clip, not to hit the clip. We're using a, an extension, basically, is what we're using. Or no, a screwdriver. Something long. There we go. A little more. Still can't grab it. Move the, move the crank a little bit more, just slightly. Oh, okay. Try and hit it now. Just, you know. There we go. And we're... Oh, damn it. No. <laughs> if I have, can have a rag, it's very slippery. There we go. And this is number four. And now, what we do... We're gonna stand it up, or on this side down. Whoa, too too fast, okay, so. And then you just reach in, and make sure you go inside the piston, and just knock it out. But before that, you gotta clean the, the, the rim around, so it's easier, the piston doesn't fight you. Okay, so we're gonna remove that one. Uh, we're gonna take the pistons, clean them up, re, uh, replace the piston rings, Oh, I, and one more thing I should mention. Where's the file? Where's the little file? Where's the little file? Here. Mark each piston, okay, with a file. So what I do is, this was number four. I'm going to put four lines over here on this side, like I did. One little notch here. So that's number one. Two little notches right here. That's number two. And so on. Okay, guys, another update. Same evening, we took it, the pistons, we took the pistons to my place, and look at this. This oil control ring is not moving at all. The compression rings came off easily, no issues, but look at this. This, this is the main reason why it ate oil.
a lot. I think it was a quart every a thousand miles or so. Every piston looks like this. This is just stuck in there. We tried picking it out, found the gap, and it's still still stuck. So we may have to kind of maybe dip it in some kind of a solvent to break it up. You know, this should not be the case over here. Maybe some sometime, sometime long ago, somebody didn't care about oil changes. But yeah, this is what it leads to. Alright, next update soon. Mm -hmm. Grandma's old recipe. Oh, uh, grandpa's, grandpa's. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, little update. Check these out. This is a happy piston. There was a lot of gunk inside there. These holes were actually, some of them were plugged up. These guys here. So now it is time to install the the rings. We got some valve lapping tools, rubbing compound. We're gonna do some honing with this tool right here, and we're gonna show you the heads a little later. But we got we got those two. All right, another update coming soon. We're ready to put the oil pan back on. Soup bottle filter, all this was cleaned. As you can see, the heads are on. Stuck. Still, you gotta do valve lash, but gotta do timing belt. You know, each, the valves gotta be at a specific spot so they're loose. This is uh, drying, ready to go in. Moving along. And looking good. Hey guys! We're back, back at my place, the best place. Got the car here, ready to go. Transmission jacked up, exhaust manifold, nicely sanded down with a block, so it's nice and flat. No leaks, brand new windshield. I don't know if you've noticed or said it before, had a big old crack over here. And here we have the engine, hanging out, waiting for its home. To go back to its rightful place, looking good, nice and clean. Remember, brand new piston rings, exhaust valves, all sealed up, ready to go. I know it's a bit tilted, I can tilt it this way, but I, ca I cannot tilt it this way, well, I'm gonna have to fight it. It's okay. Hello, guys. Update. We're ready to to do the cranky cranky. Okay. Make sure it's a neutral. That battery. Yes. Oh. Watch the light. Battery is dying. Okay, we're gonna hook up the charger to it, but it sounds good and even nice, even crank. You know, no toot 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 toot. You know, it's a toot 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 toot. You know what I'm saying? Toot 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 toot. No, none of that. Just toot 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 toot. You you know what I mean, right? Guys, we forgot something. Seriously, we forgot the exhaust valves. All right, so. We had the battery on charge. We finished up, as you can see, we let the starter cool down. We cranked it some more, made sure there's oil in the filter. There was, you know, ask me how I know. And uh, the starter cooled down, we cranked it a little more and we finally got that red light to turn off. So now it's primed, always, always. I don't care if it's, your, if it's a new build, used engine, whatever. You don't know how long it's been sitting. Prime your engine, always, all right. Are we ready? First start. <laughs> nice. I can barely hear it. It's so quiet. 
Nice. All right. Got it. Now we're gonna add coolant and uh, warm it up and hope for the best. Right. Was nice. like like this. Hey guys, we're we're on, we're on a test drive. We're on a test drive in our brand new 05 Super Outback <laughs> with only probably half a mile so far on the on the new rebuilt engine. No, all jokes aside, runs pretty good. A little test drive, everything works. All the bells and whistles, heat, we got the radio, the power mirrors obviously, power seat on the driver's side, no no rips, locks, windows, uh, heated seats actually, it's, it also has heated seats. Let's see, that turns on, okay. It is uh, 80 outside, we're doing this for you. We're gonna test these seats just for you. Rear defrost. Uh, this wind windshield has the defrost on the bottom, okay? I believe, and this turns on with the mirrors, I believe. Or is it? Or, I'm sorry, not the mirrors, the, the, different, the rear defrost. Oh, we got something, oh, okay. <laughs> Rosary in there. This guy works, works. We did a front right axle, that's also new. I'm gonna get it up to speed. Let's see what we're doing. We're doing 40, 50. We're doing 50 in the 35. <laughs> too much information. It's too much information. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, this is it. We're gonna give it a wash. Uh, buff it here and there and a final final uh, you know review or whatever you want to call it see you later Drives good, looks good. You know, come think of it, this is the third one I saved. Did a Impreza Outback, another one, uh, Forester coming soon. I know a few guys that uh, part them out, so let them part them out. I'm gonna keep saving them. Good stuff. See you guys in the next one.